Hi, my name's Margarita. I'm going to be doing an unboxing today. Um, of course, I'm rather new here. I do have a couple videos that you can always check out um, on my channel here. Of, of course, I would love to see you subscribe. Um, but the box that I'll be unboxing here is Beacon Book Box. So it is May 2020 Beacon Book Box. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, so Beacon Book Box, it's one of my absolute favorites. Um, I do like to watch their Sunday night um, lives on Instagram. They're a really sweet family um, that I really enjoy watching and and listening in on all the uh, beans that they like to spill about their upcoming boxes. Um, I actually do have two Beacon Book Boxes to unbox today. I'll go ahead and do them separate because I know the special edition box that I have is rather large. So I'll go ahead and break it up into two videos so it's not one long one. Um, but I'll go ahead and give you the sneak peek here. Um, and again, this is the May theme. So Beacon Book Box, this is a YA um, based book box. Um, the theme here is a fight for the throne. So that is the art on the spoiler card there. Um, all right. So the first thing I see here, it's a wildflower mixture. So some seeds to plant. Um, so these are Terrison's wildflower mix. And then I have a box here. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. I think it's their monthly ornament. So they do have ornaments, uh, glass ornaments that are literature themed and they're always beautiful. So I don't know if you can see this. I'm try putting the card in front of it so you can kind of see the art there. Or this might be better. There we go. Um, so it says, you don't threaten the life of a queen and live to tell the tale. So this is from Two Dark Rains by Kendare Blake. So really pretty there. All right, so the next thing, okay, so it looks like a scarf or a kerchief that can be used several ways. So this will definitely come in handy. So this gives an idea of all the different ways that it can be worn. Um, so you can use it kind of as a face mask or a headband a hair scrunchie. Um, so this is it. It's got some bows, some swords, and of course books. So that's really cute. So that'll definitely come in handy with all the businesses opening back up and making new wear face masks. So if you don't have one, that can definitely be one over the face. Um, otherwise, like I said, you can wear it as a headband, um, a scrunchie. It's very versatile, so nice piece to add here. Um, the next thing I have is a face mask. So it's nice and soft and silky. Um, it's black on the back with an elastic band that looks like it's adjustable. So it says, Winter is Coming, A Game of Thrones, George R. R. Martin. So definitely some things that you can use for self-care. All right. So the next thing I see here, it looks like a mouse pad. So that's nice. And I don't have one on my desk, so it'll definitely come in handy. It says, you don't need to be gifted with a blade. You are your own best weapon. So this is from The Winner's Kiss by Marie Witkowski. So really pretty. That is my kitten. I'm going to let her in. Be right back.
All right. So the next thing I have here says the no mourners, no funerals. So it's got like a skull and a raven. Really pretty. And then inside are some beautiful cards by Cynthia Monica. And I don't know who these are, so I'll definitely have to look at the spoiler card here, but it's really pretty. Back of the card has that really pretty raven, the black and the red. And here's the next one. And there's this one. Sorry, I'm trying to get it out of the glare there for you. All right, and those cards, let me take a look here. Those are Six of Crows character cards. Um, and again, those are de designed by Cynthia Monica. And I'll put her links down below. And then it looks like we just have two things left. Um, so this is the art on the recipe card. It says, we each survive in our own way. So it's a quote for a throne of glass by Sarah J. Mass. And the recipe is Rowan's chocolate cake. So that definitely sounds good. My husband loves chocolate cake. So he'll be excited to see that because he'll definitely want me to make it. Um, and then the book, and it's gorgeous. I don't know if you can see this, but like all the detailing with the swords, um, is super shiny here. Bear with me one moment. I have to take care of my cat. All right. I don't know about you, but my cat loves plastic and I have to keep him from eating it. <laughs> um, so again, it's got like these swords and then these dragons and it's really, really pretty. Like I said, the, the detail is really nice and shiny here. So House of Dragons by Jessica Clue, Clues. So the author of Shadow, Bright and Burning. Um, and then there is the art and author letter. Um, so the book, of course, is signed. I don't know if you can see that there. And then Naked, it's a beautiful blue book um, with silver on the spine. So it's just got quick synopsis here, so I'll go ahead and read that. The emperor is dead, and so the five houses of Etrosia must attend the calling where one of their own will be selected to fight for the throne. In this proud dragon empire, the oldest child of each house is always called the golden child, the one who has spent a lifetime preparing to compete in the glorious trial. But this year is different. This year, these five outcasts will be pitted against one another. So the liar, Amelia, must hide her terrifying powers or be put to death. The soldier, Lucian, is a warrior who was sworn never to lift a sword again. The servant, Vesper, is a dragon trainer. Her skills alone will keep her in the game. Uh, the thief, Ajax, knows that nothing will be handed to him. He must take what he wants. And then the murderer, Hyperia, was born to rule. Nothing and no one will keep her from the throne let the battle begin. So it definitely sounds good. Um, I did hear a couple of reviews about this book. Um, they were rather good, so I can't wait to read it. Um, it sounds really exciting. Um, so that is, again, the May Beacon Book Box. Um, overall, um, I'm going to go over the card here just to make sure that we go over everything. Um, so the Winner's Curse-inspired mouse pad, um, again, that was designed by Azura Arts. 
uh, the Game of Thrones inspired sleep mask by Kista Kronk. Um, Six of Crows character cards by Cynthia Monica Art. Um, the collectible ornament inspired by Caraval. <sighs> so it wasn't Caraval. Sorry, it looks like that was a misprint. Again, it looks like the ornament is two dark rains. Um, so the Graceling inspired bandana mask uh, was designed by Lemmy Doodle. Um, the Throne of Glass inspired Terracin seeds um, designed by SJ Wonderlands. Um, Bacon with the Beacon, Throne of Glass inspired recipe artwork was done by Blanca Design. Um, and then, of course, there was a signed copy of House of Dragons. Um, so overall, I think my favorite uh, was probably the mouse pad, just because I know I'm going to use that a lot. I always do love the beautiful art prints that come in the box. Um, I did enjoy this handy headscarf here. Um, that of course is going to be really versatile. Um, everything I did enjoy, um, so there's not anything that's going to go without use. Um, so can't wait to dig into everything here. Um, I will see you again here soon when I unbox my special edition book box from Beacon here. So stay tuned. Um, please subscribe if you like, of course, um, and want to see my other videos. Um, always a pleasure. Thanks again. Bye.